He's uh, the former Michigan quarterback, Denard Robinson. He joins us now on the program. Strangest question you got at the combine, Denard? Uh, the strangest question I got at the combine was, uh, I don't know. They didn't ask me too many crazy questions. They just told me to get on the board. They asked me to call a lot of different questions on the board about football and stuff like that. No, no strange questions. Nothing personal. Nothing personal. Nothing Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Well, if somebody asks you about your personal status, if somebody says to you, like girls, uh, are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? Is it their business if they're thinking of drafting you? Uh, I just, well, I don't know, because they, they look into all that stuff. So they, they, they ask you that question. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. They do ask you that question. Do you, do you have a girlfriend? Or are you married? Are you engaged? They ask you that. It's, that's the question they do ask. Oh, so you did ask. You were asked that question. Oh, yeah. Where, did they ask you if you like girls? No, they didn't ask me that I like girls. They just asked me was I engaged or married. But that's okay. Even though I, I think legally you're not allowed to ask that. And, and I guess is this technically a job interview? Did you feel like it's a job interview when you sat down oh, yeah. with these teams? You could tell that it's a job interview. You could tell that it's a job interview. When those guys start asking you different questions and ask you about the, the sport and the love for the game and all that good stuff. So, I mean, they start asking you some questions. And you could tell that it's a job interview. They ask you what position you want to play? Oh, yeah. They always ask me that. It was like, are you sure you want to play the receiver? Are you sure you want to play this? Or, are you sure you don't want to play quarterback anymore? I was like, uh, yeah, I'm sure I want to play receiver. So, Wait, were you lying to them? Like, deep down, would you still like to give quarterback a shot in the NFL? Uh, to be honest with you, I, I'm, you know, that's the only thing I'm thinking about. And uh, my thing is uh, – if, if, a, if a coach come around and ask me to do that, that's when I'll probably do it. But right now I'm just focusing on playing receiver. I'm not focused on anything else. Because I could see as a kick returner, I know that Devin Hester is a name that's brought up. How comfortable would you be kick returner, uh, wide receiver, or even defensive back I saw? Is there a chance that you'll try to make a team as a defensive back? Hey, I, like I was saying, <laughs> like I was saying, any any coach that give me a chance to get in, in and get in, get on the field, that's what I'm going to do. If they draft me as a cornerback, let's go play corner. Who's if they your me as a receiver? Let's go play receiver. Who do you see yourself being like? Who's in the NFL right now? Uh, probably Cobb. I want to be like Randall because he had a great, great, great career. He had a couple Super Bowl rings, and you know that's that's something that I that's I do, you know. And what I want to do. But you have this spread offense now, Denard. I would think that that would be right up your alley, that you'd be able to help a team like that. Hey, if the team drafts me and they want me to play quarterback, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. But uh, right now, I'm focused on playing receiver. Uh, what happened in that transition from freshman, sophomore year to then you get to your senior year and you're not even the quarterback? Uh, toward, the end, toward the end of the season, I got, a, uh, I got an injury to my nerve and it was nerve damage. And I, in order for me to get on the field, I had to play some else because uh, I couldn't grip the ball and I was having a hard time holding on to the ball in my right hand. So after that, I was just like, all right, they got need to, you know, we think about this stuff. And um, so I talked to the coach and Coach Borges was like, all right, we're going to find a way to get you on the field. And I want to play a running back, receiver, uh, try, to just try to get on the football field. And that's basically what happened. Uh can you describe what you saw when Jadavian Clowney had the hit against Vincent Smith in the bowl game? Uh, I don't really want to talk about that. I mean, he he came on block and he got a good lick on uh on Vincent, but I don't think it was it was too bad. But Vince Vince told me he popped back up and he was just like, right, it wasn't that bad. Well, wait a minute. Why wouldn't you want to talk about it? I mean, because everybody, the hype around the, around the hit. I'm not hating on anybody, but the hype around the hit was kind of, you know, it was just, it was, it was a big deal. Did you hear it? I don't think I, I didn't hear it. To be honest with you, I didn't hear it while I was on the sideline. Uh, is, is there something at the combine that you went through where you said, I don't know what this has to do with football? As far as an actual, uh, you know, running, jumping, whatever it might be, was there something you said, this is stupid? No, not really. Everything, everything was probably, you know, football related. I mean, but it's all, it's all, it's all, it was all fun just doing it, just going out there, being able to go out there. So that's that's the only thing I was thinking about. I was just thinking about like this. This was like something that I always looked at and 
now I'm actually here. And it's time to make some make something some happen and do work. That forty yard dash, uh how nervous were you? Uh not really. I I, I knew I could run fast, so it was it was just the the just the amount of just getting out the getting out the start. I mean I got called back three times. <laughs> so it was just a matter of just getting out the start and just trying to finish. <laughs> Did you practice? Oh yeah, I practiced a lot on that, so what about the bench press? Was it two twenty five? Oh yeah, two twenty five. I didn't I didn't do it because my elbow. I had an injury to my elbow, so I didn't do it. If if you could have done it healthy wise, how many reps do you do on with two twenty five? Sixteen, eighteen times. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did the scouts say about when uh, they think you'll be drafted? What round? I really don't know. I mean, you hear a lot of different different things and. Uh, I don't really want to say it. Yeah, I don't know because you never know what round I'm. Well, they do lie to you, just so you know, Denard. Yeah, that's then. That's why I don't want to say. It. <laughs> well, the approach you're taking is the right approach because Eric Crouch won the Heisman a couple of years ago, and he wanted to be a quarterback, did not want to be a kick returner or wide receiver, and he never made it to the league. So to do whatever it takes to make it on a roster, uh, you could not have a better mindset. I wish you the best with that, and uh, thanks for joining us. I have a couple of questions for you. I mean, uh, oh. I heard you was from Ohio. Is that really true that you was from Ohio? Yep. <laughs> so I'm trying to get on the on 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 the cover of NCAA, and I was just wondering if if I get a vote from you. If I get a vote from you, I mean, you from Ohio. That means a lot to me. Yeah, but here's the thing: you went to Michigan, and I went. I'm from Ohio. Oh my God! So you can't help me out. I mean, I follow you on, on Twitter, and you don't even follow back. I'm and... I'm, but Denard, I, I'm a Buckeye. Are you serious? You, you can't follow me back and, and vote, vote for me uh, on the get on the SCWA cover. It's between you and Ryan Swope for the cover, right? Yes, you could be a big team guy and, and vote for me. Ah, uh, you know it's just so hard. Do you realize how many times Michigan hurt me, broke my heart when I was growing up? <laughs> Do you understand that, Denard? I understand that, but th- right now it's about the Big Ten. It's not about the. the <laughs> right now. All right, here's here's what I'll do. I need your shoes. I need your autographed shoes from the Combine for the Man Cave. Wow. I, you really want my shoes? I mean, you really want a Michigan guy's shoes? Yes. Well, if I'm going to tell people to vote for you, then you got to give me your Michigan shoes from the Combine, and I'll put them up in the Man Cave, and then untied, of course, by the way, and I'll tell everybody <laughs> to, uh, to vote for Denard Robinson for the cover. We, we might have a deal. I'll see, I'll see if I can do something for you. I mean, I'll give you one shoe because I want one for myself. So. All right, I'll take one shoe. One shoe, untied autograph. That'll be fine. You know you got to go on mgoblue.com slash vote for the nerd. I can't say that phrase, go blue, by the way. Wow, really? I'm going to just say one more time so you can, so you can hear it. Again. No, I just said – but no, see, I would say that team up north. I was I was having fun. I, I just said go blue. So <laughs> I mean, sort of go blue. How's that? Oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, give me, give me, give me the website again so you can vote for Denard Robinson from that school up north. Oh, that's bull. <laughs> <laughs> Mgoblue.com slash vote Denard. All right, all right. I'll, uh, I'll release the dogs and tell them to vote for you. And uh, I expect that that shoe from the combine. Okay, and I expect the follow back, uh, follow on Twitter, man. All right. Well, you know what? The, my, my Dan Ant's, uh, you know, from the show. They'll take care of it, I promise you. It's okay. already done. It's already right. done. That's how good we are. Okay. Hey, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, Denard Robinson, former Michigan quarterback, trying to make – he's taking the right approach. Let's put it that way. That's the right approach. Just let me make a roster. These guys go in with an ego. Oh, I'm going to be a quarterback. Well, good luck with that. He's taking the right approach. Got a chance.